I can continue to just tap on this and be editing this. Hello guys, welcome to the studio. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to edit your samples smarter, you know, on sample edit using the path shortcuts. We'll talk about what each of them means and how you can actually get the best of your work and work faster, smarter when you are editing with the, the features of your pads. So let's go. Welcome back. Now, let's take a quick look at what we have here. I've taken the liberty of putting, you know, um, a sample here, and that's what we're going to be working with. But before we dive into the part shortcut, let's quickly take a look at the cooling shortcut as well, and then how you can use that to edit the start, the end, and then the loop point. Because those three major aspects contribute to what extent you can actually, uh, uh, you know, work around your path shortcut to make your work a lot faster you know smarter workflow that's basically what we are, what we are about here that's what we teach on the bitbender studio we show you the the, the the tips and the tricks the things that you might just basically be you know have been omitting or been overlooking we could have make your work a lot easier so um that's what we're about now the first thing to note is um you can actually edit your start end and the loop point using your jog wheel right it works fine pretty fine but another thing you need to understand is the fact that each time you move your jog wheel let's say per click here you can see the distance at which it moves like this is 12,024 next will be 36 then 48 and 60 things like that you notice that that Sometimes I'll be wondering, why why can't I fix that? Why can't I just adjust that, the movement, in terms of what each clip does? But the, the truth is, this movement of the jog wheel in relation to, you know, editing your start and the end point and your loop is dependent on the current zoom level of the sample you are working with, you are trying to edit. So if I increase the zoom, the zoom if I zoom in now on this sam on this current sample, and I try to adjust the start again. You see, it's now down to 879. If I increase it more, you can see how it's moving now. So just bear that in mind. Anytime you are trying to maybe like do a thorough, you know, granular fine tuning using your jog wheel, it's dependent on the current zoom range that you are. So that's basically the, the more you zoom in, the smaller this becomes to move it for you, you know per click that being said let me take you back but to make it to make things a lot more interesting um the the, the faster and a better way to know you are correct you are basically always going to be in sync is if you use your cueling buttons now um cueling we have like you know already we have basically just for one two three four one controls the starts two is for the end three is for the loop and then the four is for the slice we're not going to be looking at that start and loop for us let's go back to the start now Anywhere you have your red lines, you know, the rectangle on, that's where you can control your jog wheel. Anywhere you have that amber, or if you are seeing yellow, on the, you know, the rectangle surrounding, that's where you can use the Q-link to control. Now, your Q-link is already showing you that Q is active on this particular star. If you touch this one, this very first one, you see that it is times a thousand. That is how, that's the number, you know, the movements you'll be making with this. If you do this, it's times 100. The next one is times 10, so in movement, in terms of this time bar. Then the fourth one is just, you know, one. This is the granular. So, just notice, you notice that while I'm moving the start, the loop is moving. If I also go to edit the loop, the start moves. It's because the loop lock is on. And that means, I'm saying I want this, I want my song to start looping from where exactly the song start and stop at where it ends that's what we're talking about so before we go in here right now let's just try and let's let's set our starting point the end point and the loop to a particular section of this particular tra um, this particular sample where we are right now let's go and adjust the start the end and then the loop we'll put it somewhere so q link one the start let me bring it here let's just it's just for the then the end second one let me bring it here Uh, 
then the loop okay you can see that it won't respond because loop lock is on so when i disable loop lock you now see a, a new icon has shown that is the loop for me and now you notice that it, it maybe if it's not responding and all that i'm in program right let me come to trim do you see that so now you need to know that okay fine most of the time when you want to do your editing you have to be on trim program might give you some restrictions in terms of because believe me like you want to work on the program itself but this is the tr this is you want to actually trim you are working on this particular sample right now trim right and that is also when all your lights on the pad will lit up and each of these lights as they are lit they have exactly what they do we'll go into that in details you can see that they, they, they are basically just color coded and it's just to make you remember faster if you know what one color is you can actually know this is where all the you know attributes of the colors are so in trim mode that's when you get to control your loop and let's say we put it here so let's start from green so what, basically what we have right now let's start from green right green is just to play all from beginning to the end mm -hmm. Board. so that's what the screen does it basically plays all now let's take a look at what we the color coding we have amber we have the red we already know what green does and then we have yellow this also an amber let's start from the amber this actually plays from start this very first one plays from start and what that means is it plays from the start the s here that's what it does mostly to the end then we have part two part two actually plays to start which means if you're currently editing something you've already cut out some parts of this editing we, you know we've cut out this part we're like we don't need this part but can we still hear it can i still hear what is there to know if i need to take something more and all that if you press part two it it, it plays from the ones we've cut off to the start so let's try that you see so that's that's where we say okay and these are one shot now here again this particular one the part three plays to the end it plays to end okay I'm currently editing, I'm currently cutting, I'm currently, I don't want it to start playing from beginning to the end, beginning. Just give me kind of like a snippet of that ending part alone. Let me actually continue to hear the snippet from, you know, some particular spot, maybe like a minute, uh, sorry, maybe like a, a second or two seconds to the end. I press part three, that's what it will give me. It's just a little, a little bit, you no, know, one shot to the end. So I can be pressing part three and be editing my end part to know exactly okay i think i've gotten it now this is exactly what i was trying to look for and then you lock it down there so that's what part three does for you you know the, just just as what part two does for you snippet of what you've cut off to where it starts so you need to you actually want to know where it starts or what you cut off part two does that now part four basically what part four does it it plays from end just like the opposite of part two which plays to start this plays from end it plays out a little bit away from your end to see what you've cut off from the ending part so you see thank you so you see it plays from the end just to show you exactly what you've cut off and then you can choose to say oh i see one more and one more then you can increase your ending part to cover those aspects that is what the amber does for you don't forget there's also another amber here and this is the one that actually plays the sample from start to end right here this actually plays this part 10 actually plays what you've cut off from beginning to the end it is also part of this one because it's one shot one shot basically you tap once it plays it and then it stops now let's go to the red we have red 
which actually is the same thing. If you want, so that's why we have to start with this one first. The moment you understand or you are able to memorize, okay, or you know, this with use that this place from start, this place to start, this place to end, and this place from end. So from start, from end, to start, to end. Do you get? So that's basically how it's arranged. The same thing is applicable to the next part up here. We have the play from start, play to start, play to end, play from end. And these four, they are just the same thing as this right here. But because this is not only, it simply means you have to hold on to it and, you know, to play it. When you take your hands off it, do you get? It stops playing. From start to the end. But if I take off my hand, it stops playing. But this will play from start to the end without, you know, even it's just one shot. Once I tap on it, it plays. This, basically, this second one, it plays to start. Then this third one plays to end. Then this plays from end. Continuous playing. As I take my, so when I'm editing, I can quickly just say, you know what? This is what I need. It's faster for me. Instead of waiting for this for this one to play all in full while I'm turning it. Okay, let's even do that. So the end, um, one, two. I can continue to just start on this and be editing this. Because I just want to know what exactly I'm cutting off. You know, just play to the end for me. And then I tap this. Okay, and I want to pick from then I can come here and be like, okay, yeah. So, do you get the concept now? Just a summary. This place from start, this place to start, this place to end, this place from end. From, from is always on this, on the, on the edge. To, to is always in the middle and then to start to end from start from end the same thing applies here from start you know from end to start to end that's when you play but these are one note only that i'm sorry these are one shot and these are basically just notes only that means when you press down the play when you take your hands off it the same thing is here play sample we have play sample here you also have play sample here and this play sample what it does is basically just play the sample but you also have to hold on to it Because it's play sample, it's not only, so you have to hold on to it. If you take your hands off it, it will stop playing. Now, we've covered all of this, and we know green already basically just means play all from beginning to the end. Now, let's talk about here. Someone actually asked the question, that, okay, fine, how was I able to continuously play? You know, I said it into loop mode, just playing, and then I'm able to continuously edit and all that. That is what this does. You see this yellow here actually controls the loop. The reason why most time you don't know that is because maybe your loop lock is on. So if your loop lock is on, like I said earlier, you are playing from start to end. Because the loop lock simply means set my beginning of the loop to also where my, you know, make the start point is on my um, sample that I'm editing. But if you take off the loop lock, you get, you can also I mean, just adjust your loop as well. Make it a separate entity. Now, let's take a look at it. If I say play loop this is to play your loop right can, this is where it starts from do you get if i say play loop play to loop start it's play to where the loop starts do you get that the concept kind of like the same here is play to start this is play to start but it's not only and here is play to loop start so everything here the same do you get? But this is just controlling the loop. While this plays to the start of, you know, the sample you're editing, and this also plays to the start, this plays to the start of the loop. Most time when you not really be able to, to, to get the differences because, like I said earlier, loop lock, when it's on and the, this, this particular loop is on the start, you might not really understand the difference. That's why we have to set a different loop lock so you can understand it better. Now, this same thing also does the same thing that these two does. They play from loop start. You see? 
Now, this is where it gets interesting. This is this plays the loop continuously, and it is just one tap. So do you get it? This plays the loop continuously. This plays from loop start. This plays to loop start. This plays the entire loop. But what you need to know is these three, they are actually kind of like notes only. You need to hold them to listen. Hold it. Hold it. This is the only one that when you press here, it it kind of like it's locked. It continues. You need to press again to stop it. Do you get or do you get? So, don't forget, I, I didn't do single single um, stop here. If you keep pressing single stop, it will not work. You see, stop will not work. I double tapped it, which is kind of like a full stop. We covered that also in one of our previous um, videos. We we're talking about the shortcuts, what double tap can do for you in terms of when you're doing sample editing or you're doing, you are sampling even your sample, you're auditioning them. Double stop. So, uh, in summary again, let's just recap it one more time and then we get it over with. Part 1 plays from start. Part 2 plays to start. Part 3 plays to end. Part 4 plays from end. Then we have part 5 that plays from start. Just like this, but it's not only. You need to hold it. This place to start, this place to end, and this place from end. And then here is actually the plane of the sample itself. This is one of the... So, in summary, um, what we have, we have this to be the one, one sh that just play and start this place directly um, when you also press it. That's what I mean. It plays from beginning to the end. This place from beginning to the end. The red ones are not only you need to hold it. Hold play. And just like what we have, the same thing that we have here, same thing we have here, same thing here, same thing here on these two. Even more so, these two, same thing what we have here. This plays the loop. This plays to the start of the loop. This plays from, you know, loop starts. And then this plays continuously. Yes, so, there you have it. Um, how to use your, you know, your pad to work smarter when you are currently working, you know, when you are doing editing of your samples. Um, I believe you pick up a thing or two from here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.